Hi guys, it's Miss Evelyn here, and today we are going to learn about beavers. So, beavers are an animal. They are a type of animal called a mammal. Humans are mammals too. What that means is that we give birth to live young and we feed them on milk. Okay, so that's what a mammal is. Beavers are also called aquatic mammals because aquatic means things that live near or in the water. So what I would like you to do is to have a think about all the other aquatic mammals you know. Okay, I'm going to give you guys 30 seconds and I want you to think about all the mammals that you know that live in or by the sea the rivers, the ocean, the lakes. Okay, 30 seconds, starting from now. Keep thinking. Okay, you're halfway through. I wonder how many animals you thought of. Five, four, three, two, one, and your time is up. Okay, maybe you thought of these guys. That's the biggest animal in the world, a whale. They are aquatic mammals, just like a beaver. There's also these guys. You can see them at Ocean Park. They are called dolphins. Or maybe you thought of these guys. They live in the polar environment, so in the very far north and the very far south of the earth, and they are called seals. There's also these guys. They live by rivers, just like beavers, and they are called otters. Or maybe you thought of this little fella. They are called platypus, and they only live in Australia. Okay, so now we've been thinking about aquatic mammals, it's time to start thinking about beavers specifically. So this book is called Amazing Animal Homes. So what could be special about a beaver's home? We know they're aquatic, so it must live right by water, like a river. Let's check out the beaver's home. Here we go. So we can see here the beavers in the water and we've got some people in a canoe checking them out. So let's read this together. The North American beaver is the second largest rodent on earth. Rodent is a group of animals that includes, anybody know what a rodent is? That includes mice and rats. So. Beavers are kind of like a really big rat that lives in the water. Okay. Second largest rodent on earth. These intelligent animals live partly on land and partly in the water. As we were saying, that makes them aquatic. They are famous for building wooden dams across rivers and lakes. What could the dam be? What could that mean? So I read in a book called Amazing Animal Homes. That means the dam is the beaver's house. Beavers cut down trees by gnawing through them with their front teeth. So what could gnawing mean? You can see the word here. Gnawing is like chewing with their front teeth. They then drag the logs into position on the water. They collect rocks and mud in their paws and pack everything together to make a watertight lodge. Okay, and here we can see a picture of their dam. Yeah, here we go, a picture of their dam. So, 
the lodges have underwater entrances that lead to eating and nesting areas. Sometimes lodges connect to burrows in the sides of riverbanks. So we can see the underwater entrance to the beaver's house just down here. We can see we've got a beaver in the house and up there we've got a bird in the sky. So why might beavers need to swim into their house? Could they be hiding from something maybe? So beavers are what is known as prey in the animal world. That means that other animals called predators are going to try and eat them. I'm going to show you some pictures of some beaver predators. That means animals that want to eat the beaver. And I want to see if you know their names. Okay, first up, we've got this guy. What could he be? That is a bear. Not just any bear. We can see the color of the bear is black. So we call that a black bear. We've also got, what could this be? A very big, very hungry bird. That's an eagle. We've got this guy. He looks a lot like a wolf, but he is called a coyote. That's a coyote. And over here, we've got another animal that wants to eat the beaver. That is a mountain lion. So it looks like a lion and it lives in the mountains. We call it a mountain lion. Let's go. And the other reason they need to build such complicated houses. Get that picture back up. Other reason they need to build complicated houses like this one is because where they live is very cold. They live all over North America. And in winter, it gets very snowy. So they can't go outside to look for food. So they need to keep nice and warm in their homes and they need to store lots of food inside them, inside them as well. But the good news for the beavers is that their favorite food is wood. And what do they make their houses out of? It says here, they like gnawing logs to make their houses. Logs are big pieces of wood, big pieces of trees. So the beaver's house is also made of its favorite food. So they have a very complicated home that keeps them safe from things that want to eat them. It keeps them warm during the winter and it gives them lots of food. So how do we survive the winter as humans? What do we do? Because our houses aren't made of food, are they? So what we do is we wear lots of layers of clothes. So we put on maybe a coat when it's cold or a jumper or a hat. Or what can we wear on our hands? Gloves. Whereas the beaver is covered in lots and lots of warm fur to keep it warm, as well as its nice house. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for learning about beavers with me. Bye.